Good evening, Laura. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very yes. well, thank Patricia. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Nice to meet you too. Hello, Hello teacher. <laughs> You're making friends, right, Patricia? <laughs> yes. yes. That's great. <laughs> So, how are practice. you, Patricia? Practice, practice. Uh, yes. fine. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Yes, I, you have to practice a lot. <laughs> yes. See. Uh, I have worked very hard on all day. Yes, I imagine. Imagine that you work all day. And what's your job, Patricia? What's your job about? Oh, you're a doctor, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now I remember. I work in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I heard you yesterday when you said that you were a doctor. And I was yes. pretty surprised. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Laura, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you for being in class. You were not yes. here yesterday, right? No, teacher. I have I couldn't couldn't be in class because I have a family problem. Ah, oh, okay. I'm yeah, sorry so. to hear that. Thank you, teacher. But, but I hope everything gets better. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. We're going to wait some. Well, we're going to well to wait a couple of minutes to start with the class. Okay. We are missing some of it. All right. I'll be okay, here teacher. in some minutes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening. Hello, Williana. How are you? Um, um, a little tired, but fine. Excellent. Very <laughs> good. That's the mood. <laughs> Yeah, I understand that some of you are tired because of your job, because of traffic, and I totally understand that. But it's good to see you in class. It's great. Yes. <laughs> that shows me a lot, shows that you want to learn and you want to practice at the same time. <clears throat> and that's perfect. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anita. How are you? Eh, lo siento, ayer no pude, me cambiaron de grupo. Oh, oh, Ahora es el primer día. Excelente, Ana, welcome. Siempre va a ser bienvenida. Gracias. Ok, we're going to wait some minutes before the class starts. If you want to grab your coffee, you can do it. Because I have mine in here and also have my water. All right? We're going to wait some minutes to start with the class. Because I need to get more students in the class. So I'm going to send a message maybe on WhatsApp to see what's going on. It is noisy. Yeah, sometimes it happens that when somebody has its microphone open and they are having interference during the class. So that's why we can hear a lot of noises. Okay. All right. All right, everyone, so welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to have you in class. Uh, it's good that you're in your virtual classroom, and that's great, so welcome. I'm going to share with you my PPT. 
can have this content for you. So today is Wednesday, August 25, 2021. We're still in section one, right? Please call me Beth. This section, it has a lot of topics, a lot of content. So today we're going to develop some of the content. If you have any question or doubt, please don't even doubt on telling me, all right? You can tell me, Miss, uh, I have a question. Miss, how do you say this in English? If you don't know the meaning of, of something, you can ask me, all right? If I don't have for any reason the answer to your question or to your concern, don't worry. Any other day I can give you the answer, all right? <laughs> so let's see, we are in class number two. I don't know if you remember everyone, but yesterday I told you that in my classes, I have something special <clears throat> called, what do you remember from our last class, right? Or also sometimes it's going to be like uh, recalling previous learning to see if we remember what we learned in yesterday's class. So this is for the ones that were in class yesterday. Let's see. I'm going to have Eliana. Let's see, Eliana. Mention the verb to be. Um, I am. Am. Uh -huh. Am. Uh, are. Mm -hmm. Is. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Yeah, in verb to be, we only have three. Excellent. Eliana, very good. Let's go with. Let me see. I'm going to have Patricia. Let's see, Patricia. Create create one sentence using verb to be. We are very good students. Excellent. That's great. And you are right, my friend. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Then we have mentioned at least two countries. If you remember yesterday, we were studying countries, right? Countries yes. and nationalities. So let's see. I'm going to ask Nestor. Let's see, Nestor. You remember at least two countries in English? Uh, I, I am from El Salvador. Excellent. Another one? I am uh, Salvadorian. Uh -huh. That's your nationality. Excellent. But do you remember any other country? Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I am from Mexico. Uh -huh, Mexico. Um, uh, Mexican. Right. I am Excellent. Mexican. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Nestor. Let's see number four. Mention three nationalities. Kevin? Kevin Lucero? South African, mm -hmm. Brazilian, Salvadorian. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you so much. Let's go with mention the subject pronouns. Let's see. I'm missing some of my students from some of my students from last class. So today I'm going to work a lot with in this part, I'm going to work a lot with Patricia and Liliana, Nestor and Kevin because you were in this class yesterday. That's why, all right? Yes, so let's see, <laughs> let's see, Patricia, tell me the subject pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Excellent, really good, good, excellent. Thanks. Let's see, Ileana. Tell me the possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, our, they. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much, Thank you. all right? It's great that you remember. 
when you learn subject pronouns, when you learn how to handle um, verb to be, that's basic. That the other things are just content that you need to add to your learning. But this is like the foundation of everything. It's the base of everything, right? So it's pretty excellent that you remember. Now, let's move on. Let's see my new friends. Yesterday, we were working on exercises, right? Um, I don't know if you want, you can work in these exercises right now. These are with um, possessive adjectives. You can use my, your, her, his, their, our, its. All right, work on these exercises, please. We're going to wait for you and then we are going to share our sentences. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Hello, Veronica and Mary. How are you? Hello, Miss. Fine, thanks. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> Let's see, girls. You already worked on these exercises yesterday, so right now you can relax. Although you are still going to participate, right? Now, the new ones, I need you to practice with this exercise. The teacher. Hmm? Tell me. Um, uh, I am, I am not Anderson. All right. Don't worry, my friend. Today we're going to have a review of this, all right? If you don't understand right now possessive adjectives, I'm going to explain more information about that today, all right? Possessive adjectives, Anna, are used to show possession, to show belonging about something. For example, this is my cell phone. This is Anna's cell phone. All right, we use my, your, her, his, their, our, his. All right, but don't worry, Anita, because for all we're going to go deep in this topic. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know when you're finished. Teacher, yes. Uh, I have an idea mm -hmm. that if you share with us the um, the presentation mm -hmm. um, before the class, 
for the mm, no uh, to not waste or okay. to not spend a lot of time while doing the exercises yes uh, <clears throat> we will see to to study uh, before the class and oh. uh, um uh well yes ahorrar un poco de tiempo en la clase mm, all right don't worry yeah remember that this class is basically also to practice and also it's to introduce you new, new topic right so yeah patricia when i have <laughs> exercises i'm going to send it to you before the class all right thank you patricia thank you for your comment excellent all right everyone so we can start let me see, I'm going to start with Laura. Laura, what do you have for sentence number one? Basically, the one that says the parents always take. The parents always take their kids to school. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, very good. Let's see, Diane, Diane Mata. What do you have for number two? John teaches. John teaches his class in the morning. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very really good. What about Kelly likes to give presents to? Um, Repeat again, Diane, because I couldn't hear you. Kelly likes to give presents to her friends. Excellent, very really good, excellent. Let's see, um, Laura, again. They never do. They never do their homework. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Patricia, Martin sometimes wears. Martin sometimes wears his green t-shirt. Very good. Let's go with Eliana. We love. Um, we love our school mm -hmm. exactly very good mary brian and sonny play with okay excuse me don't worry um, brian no party don't have almost Brian and Sonny play. Oh, okay. Brian and Sonny play with their mm -hmm. um, friends. Excellent. Friends. Very good, Mary. Thank you. Kevin, you always wear? You always wear your uniform at school. Excellent. Nestor, the bird always sleeps in? The bird always sleeps in your net. In? Huh? What did we say your yesterday? Net. In its nest. Remember that I told you yesterday that we, we don't know the gender of something. We don't know if it is a he is or a her. We can use its. Also, we use its with, with animals, with stuff with objects and things like that, all right? Thank you, Nestor. Let's see, Veronica. Ellie always forgets. Ellie always forgets her boots at home. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for participating in this part. Let's go with this conversation time. Now, you will see, while you practice on your platform a lot with um, grammar and also with your listening, in here we are also going to practice our speaking, right? Our ability to speak, or basically the skill of speaking. Let's see, I'm going to start with Eliana, you're going to be Beth, and Kevin, you're going to be David. Action. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. 
Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, good. Songhi is here. Who is Songhi? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? South Korea. Let's let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. Excellent, bravo, very good job. Let's Thank go you. with Veronica. And Veronica, you're going to be Beth. And Mary, you are going to be David. Action. Hello, David. Garza, I and you the good number. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but I'll please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, good. So, so he is here. Who's on here? He's my classmate. We're in, we're in the same maid class. Where is he from? South Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what? Ya luz na, ya, um, uh, sorry, what? Your last name again, Garcia. Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? Oh, I don't, no repeat in Garza. No G. Let's go, G. let's go together. G. G. A. 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 R. A. R. Z. 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 Yeah, a. remember a. when pronouncing a. the letter Z, you're going to feel a vibration over here. Z. Z. Uh -huh. And then eight. Eight. Excellent. Really good job. Thank you, girls. All right. Now let's go with Patricia and Diana Mata. Patricia, you are going to be David. Diane, you're going to be Beth. Action. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, good, Son He is here. Who is Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? South Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R Z A. Excellent. Very good, girls. Thank you so much. Now mm -hmm. let's get Laura de Peñate. You are going to be David, my friend. And Anna, you, Anna Jansi, you are going to be Beth. Action. Okay. Hello. I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Uh, hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, uh, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How, uh, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Uh, oh, Gulson Hitch is here. Gulson he. She is my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? South Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? 
Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-C-A. -A. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you so much. Now, let's go with Nestor. I think we're not missing anyone. So, guess what, Nestor? You're going to practice with me. <laughs> All right? Let's see, Nestor. You're going to be debut. You're going to be best. Action. Hello, I am David Garza. I am your uh, club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Oh, okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? Oh, I am from Mexico. Oh, good. So he is here. So, Let's see, let's repeat again. Who's? Who's? Is my classmate. We're in the same math class. Oh, where is he from? South Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Yeah, actually, he's Garcia. How do you spell that? Uh, Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nestor. All right, everyone. Let's just check something from here. This word, we pronounce it as actually. This is for everyone. Actually. All right? Sure. We cannot say actuality. No. We need to say Action. Action. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's move on, my friends. Remember. Let's see. What do we have to remember, Patricia? Read the information. We can use verb ver be with nouns, adjectives, and the prepositional phrases. 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 Thanks. Mm -hmm. Very good. There you have it. This information is telling us, hey, you can use verb to be when using nouns, adjectives, and prepositional phrases. You have this information also as a part of the platform. We have some examples. Let's see, Diane Mata, please tell me the examples. I am a teacher as a noun, Anna is tall as an adjective, a new railroad is under construction as a prepositional phrase. Excellent. Under is the prepositional phrase. Tall is an adjective. If I say, for example, Laura is beautiful, <laughs> Anna is amazing, Patricia is tall, those are adjectives, right? And also we have nouns like teacher, all right? A student. House, we have different nouns. And we can use verb to be with different nouns, with different adjectives, and also with different prepositional phrases. Now, if you don't have this information, my friends, my advice for you is to copy this because tomorrow I'm gonna ask you again this, all right? And also you can copy the examples.
Teacher, mm -hmm. what is rail, railroad? Have you ever seen a train? A train? Railroad? Okay. It's when a train passes under. No, um, above. This is a rainbow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Es por donde pasan los trenes. Los rieles. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh, Diane. What's the definition of prepositional phrases and how to prepare? We are going to see prepositional phrases. I'm not sure if it, it is in this in this PPT, but we are going to see prepositional phrases. All right. Prepositional phrases are the ones that are the ones that tell that tell us where is going to be something. For example, we have on, in, at, under. No, and not in this class I have this, but maybe tomorrow I'm gonna have you that, all right? Because this is extra information that I need you to have for you to create more content, for you to learn how to create sentences, all right, Diane? Tomorrow I'm going to have more examples of prepositional phrases. Have you finished everyone? Yes. Excellent. All right. Finish. Let's go with verb to be in there. All right. So yesterday we learned how to use verb to be in affirmative. What about negative? I have this structure for you. Let me see. Veronica, please read the structure. There are uh, to be negative form, subject, uh, um, our is, must not, must complement. All right, thank you, Veronica. So we have subject plus any verb to be that you want to use or that you need to use, plus the negative not, plus complement. I have some examples for you to check this. Please copy this structure because then you're going to work on this. Let me know when you're finished to move on. Finished, teacher. Very good. All right, so we have this guiding examples. Let's see, Anna, read the first one, please. Uh, number one, I am not your sister. Exactly, I am not your sister, Anna. Let's go with Diane, number two, please. You are not from Mexico. Exactly. Is if you're not is my dear students, we are using verb to be plus not. Veronica, number three, please. She is not your mother. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. She's not your mother. Number four, Patricia. He's not so. Exactly, another one. Let's go with Laura, number five. It is not important. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Nestor, number six, please. We are not relative. Re relative. Uh, relatives. 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 Mm -hmm. Repeat three times, Nestor, please. Relatives. Relatives. Uh -huh. Three times. Okay. We are not relatives. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer les dije que cuando yo notaba que quizás una palabra no la conocíamos muy bien la pronunciación, la íbamos a repetir tres veces, ¿verdad? Right? 
So don't forget, yes. when you listen yes. to me saying repeat three times, you have to repeat three times the word, not the whole thing, right? Let's see, Mary. Do you have a question, Mary? Number seven, you are not brother. Excellent, really good. Thank you so much. And last, let's see, Kevin, number eight. They are not kind. Mm -hmm. Exactly, they are not kind. No son amables, they are not kind. All right, if you want, if you need, you can copy these examples to have a guideline because next you're going to work on it. Right, so we can move on. Time to create instructions. Let me see. Eliana, please read the instructions. Time to create instruction. One, work individually. Two, create one sentence using verb to be in negative with each of the subject pronouns. Excellent. Thank you. Now, listen, I overreact in here. <laughs> All right. I don't want to exaggerate everything. Don't write down one sentence for each subject pronoun. Just choose three subject pronouns. Your favorite subject pronouns, only three, and create three sentences using one subject pronoun per each sentence. All right. That's it. Just create three examples. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Finish. Great. Finish. Very good. All right, excellent. So we can start now. I'm going to start with Diane. Tell me your sentences, please. I am not afraid of darkness. He is not a bad person and they are not together. Excellent, very good. Excellent sentences, thank you. Veronica. Tell me your three sentences, please.
Veronica. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, somebody else. Laura. Okay, and I'm not your teacher. I'm not your teacher. <laughs> She's not our friend, and they not work in the airport. <laughs> exactly, very good, very good. Thank you, Laura. Let's see, Patricia, your sentence. Okay, we are not co-workers. You are not teacher. I am not dancer. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Eliana. I'm not your friend. You are not classma classmate. Uh, she is not ugly. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Nestor. Um, she is not uh, beautiful. Um, Rita does not like to work. Um, so, so let say. All right, don't worry. All right, at least you have two. Excellent. Thank you, Nestor. Let's see, Mary, your sentences. Okay. I am no teacher. They are not dancing. He is no work. All right. Let's see, in that one, in the first one, I am not a teacher. You need the indefinite article. Ah. Right? I am not, I am a, not teacher. a teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. And the they last are one. Not... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Continue. Dancing. Uh -huh. He is not at work. He is not working. You can use work. the progressive in the verb. Uh -huh. He is not working. He is but... not working. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. All right. But please remember that right now we are in simple past, right? Let's see, let's move on with Kevin. Tell me your sentences, please. You are not a boy. Mm -hmm. We are not a bad students. Mm -hmm. She is not young. Exactly, very good, thank you. Let's see, Anita, tell me your sentences. Your microphone, Anita. Excuse me. I am not happy today. You are not nice. They are not uh, handsome. How do you say? Yeah, they are not handsome. Okay. He is not handsome. Excellent. Really good, Anita. Great. All right, everyone. I was feeling kind of nervous with your sentences. They were really hard. Some of them were really strong. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your practice time. Let's go with subject pronouns. Anita, pay attention to this. Okay. So we have subject pronouns. Not Anita, everyone should pay attention to this. Let's remember we have subject pronouns I, you, she, he, it, we, they. Means we already know that. Yeah. But we need to remember. We need to recall. All right. We need to practice. Yesterday, I showed you these uh, sentences that I have in this one. Let me see. Mary, read the first one, please. The first sentence. Um, I am. I am from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I am Con from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Continue. You, you are from Mexico. Mexico. He is from Australia. He uh -huh. is from Brazil. Mexico. He is from Brazil. It is beautiful theory. Where are you from the uni kingdom? They are from the uni state. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, repeat after me, Mary. United. United. Kingdom. 
Kingdom. Mm -hmm. United and Kingdom. Very good. We are from the United Kingdom. Excellent, very good. Good that you practice with the sentence. All right, everyone, those are the examples. And then we have possessive adjectives. Which are the possessive adjectives, Anita? My, your, his, her, his, her, it's, or, or, there. Excellent. Thank you so much. Then we have this information that says take note. Eliana, please tell me the information. Take note. Possessive adjectives are used to show possession, possession or ownership, ownership. ownership of something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As we were talking yesterday, let's suppose. Um, this is my bottle. I'm using the possessive adjective, my, right? Yesterday, I told you that sometimes we do not need specifically the possessive adjective. We can use S in the subject to give someone to understand that we are using possession. For example, this is Eliana's cell phone, right? I'm adding the S to your name, Eliana. This is Eliana's cell phone, all right? Let's see, um, Anita, you can copy this, please, on your notebook so that you will have it. And also the other ones like Laura and Diane, if you may, you can copy this. Teacher, Spanish, please. Oh, I need you to copy this on your notebook, Anita, please. Copy it. Copy okay. it. Copy 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 it. I have these examples. Patricia, please help me with number one, two, and three. My shirt is red. Your book is old. His computer is new. Thank you so much. Anita, four, five, and six. Her, her back, backpack is big. The cat moves it's tail when he want to eat. Our house is expensive. Thank you very much. In this part, this possessive adjective is our, right? Our. 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 Very good, Anita. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Veronica, please. Seven and eight. Your phone is clean. Dairy, dairy car is same. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, if you notice, my dear friends, we are using also adjectives. Possessive adjectives are used to show possession, right? But we also have adjectives. Most of the time we have adjectives in the sentences. For example, we have red, we have old, new, be, expensive, expensive, clean, and cheap, right? So we can use adjectives in the same sentences, in the same sentence, in the same sentences in which we are using possessive adjectives. They are not the same, no son lo mismo, they are not the same, possessive adjectives and adjectives, they are not the same. Let me know if I can move on. Okay. 
finished? All right, let's move on. Practice time, all right? Let's see if we have understand everything so far. Um, I'm going to have Laura, please read the instructions. Your microphone, Laurita. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. And instructions. Number one, work individually. Number two, create one sentence using any possessive adjective that you want. Number three, share your sentence with the class. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, let's work on this. Only one sentence. I'm not asking for much. Have you finished? All right. Yes. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Let's start with Eliana. Tell me your sentence. Your dress is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Patricia, tell me your sentence. My song is tall. Excellent. Very good. Laura, tell me yours. My favorite color is blue. Excellent, very good. Diane, tell me yours. My mother is a bird. All right, thank you. Mary, tell me yours. My mother is beautiful. Excellent. Nestor, what about you? Tell me your sentence. Uh -huh. Nestor, don't be shy. <laughs> Tell me your sentence. All right. Let's see, Veronica. Help me out. Tell me your sentence. My house is big. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Anita, tell me your sentence, please. My daughters are beautiful. Excellent. Very good. And yeah, all of you have finished. Uh, Kevin sent his... Kevin sent his sentence and also Patricia and Mary. Thank you. Let's see, Nestor. Are you there? All right, everyone, we're going to stop the class in here. We're going to see this conversation. We're going to practice with this. And also just no questions. And also double H questions, which let me tell you, they are not the same, all right? So tomorrow we're going to practice with this. We're going to explain more about it. And that was it pretty, pretty much for today's class. Goodbye, take care and have a great night. Bye. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Good night, Bye. everybody. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.